Hi guys, how's it going? My name's Madison, welcome to my channel. Um, I like to do mukbang videos mostly and cooking videos as well, so if that's something that interests you, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you could like this video, that would be really awesome. And yeah, today I have a mukbang for a restaurant called Enchiladas y Mas in Austin. I have some salsa with some chips for chips and salsa, which this salsa is really, really good. Uh, let me show you guys the texture really quick. So good. And it's really spicy, which is awesome. So I got three cheese enchiladas and it comes with a beef sauce, and um, cheese on top. It usually comes with onions. You have to specify that you don't want onions. Um, and these are like really, these are crazy good. Like, but they're really hot right now. So I'm probably gonna wait. And then I just have some refried beans with rice, which is really standard here in this part of Texas. Um, and like Tex-Mex cuisine, it always comes with that. So mm. It also comes with two flour tortillas. I'm not exactly sure why but I'm just gonna dip them in the sauce and the cheese <laughs> Please focus. <laughs> but yeah, these are the closest that I found to the enchiladas that they serve where I came from, which is uh, Huntsville. All the enchiladas there and like a lot of enchiladas in Houston come with like a brown gravy, but they don't sell that here, like anywhere. Like the closest that I've actually found is like at Taco Cabana, but like for actual restaurants, like not like a fast casual, it would be this one. Their salsa is so good. And this salsa is just a red salsa with cilantro, onion. Um, I think they use serrano in it instead of jalapeno because it's, re it's really spicy. It just tastes so good. And they're always super busy. I've actually never gotten food here to go and I really like putting this gravy like with the rice and beans so it's kind of excuse me it's kind of weird they put it in a different container I've never seen that with to-go enchiladas before ever And then here's the rice and beans. I know it looks kind of weird on camera, but it's delicious. My mouth is like on fire from that salsa, but it's so good. And I'm just drinking water as well as per usual. 
Anyways, so how are you guys doing? Please let me know. Um, this is what I always used to eat whenever I was little. And I used to crush chips in it. I would love that. Um, anyway, I hope you guys are doing good. Please let me know. How's the weather where you guys live? Oh my gosh. That is so good. They're perfect. I think they must cook these in this container and have them ready or something because the enchilada, the tortilla for enchilada is really soft, like in the best way possible. Anyways, so today and yesterday, I was off. I, um, I've actually been, like, packing everything, and I've been doing really good on it. I'm really proud of myself. And I'm sure, you know, if you've been following me for a while, you're probably like, huh, she just moved, like, six months ago. You'd be correct. And the reason for that is because when I moved here, I was not dating Brandon yet. It was just, it was a different situation that I was in. And I started dating Brandon like in, like I started talking to him in December, obviously. You know, I have videos on that. And then we started dating like, in um, January my roommate was just like uncomfortable with him um, she told me she was like uncomfortable with him like being downstairs whenever I wasn't downstairs because he smokes so he would like go out the door and uh, he scared her one morning on accident so she talked to me about it or whatever and um, so I was like okay that makes sense so I was like okay he'll never be downstairs without me again you don't have to worry Well, sorry, there's like some noise outside. Anyway, come to find out, it also makes her uncomfortable that like he stays here like pretty much every day. So I get an email from the landlord he's like, you're violating your lease by doing this, this, and that, and blah, blah. I'm like, because he was saying that um, Brandon was, like, living here. And I'm like, he's not living here just because he spends the night with me every night. Like, he doesn't have a key to the place. Like, he doesn't, like, go anywhere downstairs without me, you know. He doesn't cook food here. Whatever. Anyways, so... After a while, it just started becoming, like, super uncomfortable for us as well so I was like you know what like if she's uncomfortable we're uncomfortable like let me just ask if I can get out of my lease early and he did say that I could get out of my lease early probably because he's her dad so um Brandon and I actually got an apartment Uh, the complex I used to live at and I'm really excited about it so we move in on like the 31st um and I'm just super excited so I thought I would tell you guys and 
I chose that same complex because I know the people and I did really good there. Um, also, they have really low like fees for everything. Like a lot of apartments in Austin want $300 for the pet fee and $300 for the pet deposit. Who has $600 to just be like, oh yeah, here you go. And then you don't get 300 of it back. Excuse me. Um, so crazy. So, um, theirs are like so low. It's literally like a hundred dollars. And then you just do like pet rent, uh, each month, which everybody has. There's like 10, a lot of places it's like 25. And I'm sure some of you might be thinking like, wow, that's really fast. But I don't know. I just feel like super sure about everything with him. So I'm just going to keep going for it. Honestly, I spent a lot of time being scared to do things. And I just think it is not worth it. This is so good. It's really hard to focus stuff like on my phone. So I um, finally went to the dentist today. I haven't been in a really long time. I don't have dental insurance now that I'm not like, now that I'm 25, you know, cause I'm not on my mom's plan anymore. Um, and the cost of each filling that I need is $225. So I know that we're supposed to get our stimulus or whatever. I was gonna use it for something else, but I might just use it for this because it's really necessary and it's not gonna just improve on its own. Like it's not something you can ignore. So it looks like I need to pick up some extra shifts at work. <laughs> I would just put the beans in here, but I don't want like all this sauce in there. Maybe I'll just move one of these over here and eat it like that. Also, I have it on a plastic bag because the bottom of it was like so dirty and I don't want to like get stuff everywhere. Let me see if I can get you guys a little, a little scoopy scoop. So good. The first time that I went here was with my friend Andrew um, and it's actually the only time I've ever been here um, because I keep trying to go back and every time I want to go back, it's Monday and they're closed on Mondays. Like every single time. I'm like, what the heck? So um, finally today, like I thought about it whenever I got in the car because all my stuff for cooking is like packed up. So um, I can cook some stuff, but I was like, eh, let me do a mukbang. Let me update them. I'm gonna grab some water. Not yet, Mitzi. I got up, so she's like, is it me? Is it me, t is it my turn to have some food? <laughs> Cheese enchiladas are so good. Please focus. It hates me, no worries. Excuse me.
anyways, I hope all is well with you guys. I, um, the last two days that I worked were Monday and Tuesday. Today is Thursday. And, oh my goodness. This part of my leg right here was so sore that I could barely walk. <sighs> and I do a lot of stretching. Like, I stretch about four to five different times a day. <laughs> and it was not happening. Like, it was just so painful, like right in there, just like long ways. And so I actually had to massage myself, but it was in so much pain that it was like painful to massage it, but I had to massage it out, you know? And it was because the first day on Monday, I had this crazy complex um, that they don't take packages, but you have to like walk the whole thing because you, you can't get to some of the buildings by driving to them. You got to walk to them. So you got to take everything out of the van and put it on your cart and then just walk the cart. Speaking of, this reminds me. So... I let the maintenance guy in at the complex, like, because I went to go ask the complex uh, a question. I let the maintenance guy in the door, like, I just, like, held it over for him, you know, like a regular person. And, um, he was like, oh, thanks, blah, 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 have a good day. I'm like, okay. And then I go and deliver to, like, buildings 11 through 13. Um, and then I go and grab more packages, and I go to the other side, because the complex, it's, like, split into two. Sorry, guys. Anyway. So it's split into two, so I go to the other side, and as I'm going over there, you know, I go through building like five and four, and then I'm going to building two. Um, and um, I like see the same maintenance guy there, and he's like, are you stalking me? I'm like, nothing like getting stalked on a Monday morning, huh? And he was like, yeah, especially by someone, uh, such a, an attractive young woman. And I was like, this was funny, and now it's creepy. You know, like, it's like, I don't know, because it, it, it was only me and him, like, out there in the woods, because it was, like, in the woods, and I'm just like, I certainly don't mind the compliment. However, it was completely unnecessary. Anyway, whenever I got to that complex, my first delivery was eight packages up three flights of stairs. Four of them were like oversized, which just means they're like heavier and bigger. Awful. But I did it. So that's all that counts. Mitzi is so cute. Let me see if I can like pan you guys down to see what she's doing. <sighs> Meep, what you up to? Meep. Hey. Hey, what are you up to? <laughs> Anyways, um, so then the next day I was delivering. Sorry, I kind of put this <laughs> crooked. Um, the next day I was delivering. These are not my boxes, by the way. Um, I was delivering like in the neighborhood that I like live in. And uh, a little bit further, um, like, southwest. And over here, as most of you know that follow me, the driveways, you got to run them. And there was this one house that ordered these two, like, baby things. I don't know what they were, but the boxes were, like, 36 by 30 by like five and there was two of them and they were pretty heavy they were probably like like for that for that size of package is probably like 30 25 30 pounds and the reason that that is heavy to me is because i am like a small person so it's hard for me to like grab it you know what i mean and thankfully this was one of those houses thankfully some of the people that order crazy stuff even in those areas they end up being like some of the easier houses so it's like okay like at least i don't have to take this really heavy package 
down like a really long driveway or something. So that part's really nice, but my goodness gracious, I got my workout in and that's, that's why my legs hurt. Anyways, um, if you guys could let me know if you guys have food like this where you live. Because um, I know that this is mostly like a Tex-Mex thing, but like... Do you have enchiladas where you live? Like, what's the differences? Because when I was talking to um, Jonathan, he told me that there's enchiladas that are... Um... I think they're Cuban enchiladas because he was um, always talking to me about Cuban food. Um, and I think that they are. Uh, and they're like completely different. It's very similar to like a, like a flauta situation where um, like you'd have like the rolled tacos like on a plate and then you put like lettuce and stuff. I'm pretty sure because I remember looking it up. And it's so interesting how stuff can be so different. And then I know that there's like other enchiladas where... Like just salsa on top. I've also seen online where people make, oh no. Okay, I'm good. My low battery thing came up. I guess my phone isn't charging. What the heck? Anyways, um, so, wow, I forgot what I was talking about. Darn it. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> Me and Brandon always joke around about that because the first time that I said darn it to him, I was like, darn it. Because, like, it kind of goes together, right? Like, darn. Like, I don't know. It's just kind of funny. Like, I'm a really, I'm a pretty funny person. Like, honestly, like, I'm always trying to joke around and always make jokes about everything. Like, I like to laugh, obviously. Um, anyways, I've also seen online how people have recipes of, like, flour tortillas uh, wrapped with stuff and, like, smothered as enchiladas but to me I feel like that's more of like a smothered burrito excuse me but anyways I'm really full um I'm gonna take one more bite for you guys because I didn't say that it was my last bite um so here's the last bite super delicious when I was younger you know, I was always eating like the beans and the rice together like that. I would usually only put a little bit of rice, but I would get full at the restaurant, pack it up to go. And then usually like almost always like on the way home, I would end up like eating the beans like with a spoon if my mom had one in the car or I would just eat it with my fingers. So there's a random fact about me. <laughs> Anyways, um, please let me know how you guys are doing below. I really appreciate it if you got this far in the video and... Yeah, just comment something to me. That would be nice. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a great day or night, wherever you are. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.